LDL is often referred to as bad cholesterol because it can build up in the arteries, leading to the formation of plaques and eventually causing blockages that can result in heart attacks. Or However, recent research suggests that measuring ApoB or apolipoprotein B levels may be a better indicator of heart disease risk than LDL levels alone. What exactly is LDL and what is its function? We need to explore this first. LDL is actually a carrier that ferries cholesterol and fatty acids around the body. And HDL is the same. They are both carriers, but what differs is that they transport cholesterol and fatty acids to different areas of the body. LDL carries cholesterol and triglycerides to the cells, while HDL does the opposite. It carries cholesterol and triglycerides back to the liver, where actually both HDL and LDL was produced in the first place. So let's talk about ApoB. It is a protein found on all the atherosclerotic lipoprotein. In simpler terms, it means that ApoB is only found on the surfaces of the LDL particles that will cause atherosclerosis or narrowing of the artery via building up of the plaque on the arterial wall. Doctors often prescribe statin to lower the LDL levels to reduce the risk of heart disease. However, studies have shown that in some individuals, ApoB levels remain elevated even when LDL levels are effectively lowered by statin therapy. Monitoring ApoB levels can help identify individuals who may still be at risk despite having seemingly normal LDL level. I recently took a blood to measure my LDL levels and it shows that my fasting blood LDL levels is 3.91 millimoles per liter. In Singapore where I reside, I will be considered having borderline high levels according to the health promotion board here. And there's a really high chance that I will be put on statin. So thankfully, I also measured my ApoB levels, which is 0.85 gram per liter. If I convert that to milligrams per deciliter, that will be 85. And a healthy range will be values under 90. So here, I'm not too worried or concerned about my high LDL levels because I know that ApoB is a causal factor and not LDL levels. So I highly recommend anyone watching this video to get your ApoB levels tested instead of just relying on the traditional medical system where they are just screening for LDL. So in case you're wondering, I'm a personal trainer based here in Singapore and I'm deeply passionate about improving fitness and longevity. My con content is all about gaining strength, mobility and also nutritional advice. I would like to help as many people as I can because I feel that the traditional system that is serving the gen pop, pop has not improved over the years. So give me a follow by hitting the subscribe button, share my videos if you like what you're seeing, I'll see you in the next one.